Well, among the long list of unsolved homicides in Knoxville, there are some that lack only small pieces. In tonight's Appalachian Unsolved, Leslie Ackerson gives us a look at a cold case that detectives believe are just inches away from being solved. A little girl was actually playing. It was where families came to relax. Not a large park, but there was slides and equipment, so kind of a wooded area, actually. And inside Buck Tom's Park is where a young woman took her last breath. It was uh, April 13th of, of 84. A child, a child found the body. The body of 23-year-old Terry Lynn Kirkland stabbed and beaten. She was laying face down, and it was a very brutal, sadistic killing. Um, there were some other things done to her. But whoever killed her was very mad, very angry. The killing spurred fear among neighbors living nearby. A lot of people talked about it. A lot of people were scared about it because this is in a public park, and this was a pretty brutal murder. Investigators conducted interviews, collected evidence. Yeah, there was a knife next to the body. But no answers ever came. It's not something you forget, usually, in a murder like that. The case is now in the hands of Detective Jeff Day. There is a good suspect. He believes her killer was no stranger. You know, the more violent uh, an act is, you know, generally it's, it's probably more personal to him. But um, I, would, I would guarantee you she knew them. Day says they are close to solving Kirkland's murder. It's like a puzzle. You need a certain number of pieces before we can prosecute a, a, a homicide case. Uh, in this case, a lot of the pieces are, are there. The pieces he still needs are people. Say it's very, very rare for a murder to be committed and the and the murderer not confide in someone. I can see why a witness may be as scared. That, that's understandable. But hopefully it's been long enough now to where they want to come forward. Any any tip we get could be enough to, to tip this to a prosecutable case. We're close. A prosecution that might heal the pain of a loss her loved ones have lived with for 34 years. Any any time we can bring relief or closure to a, a family, that's that's what we're that's what we're here for. Um, it still doesn't bring the loved one back. In Knoxville, Leslie Ackerson, 10 News. Most of Kirkland's family has now passed away. She does have a sister who tells us she wants justice in this case. If you have any details, even the smallest information could help investigators. You can call the Knoxville Police Department at the number right there on your screen.